all right guys good morning and welcome back all right so in today's video i want to show us how we can cut a female trouser actually this is scrub for the nurses in the hospital so i will show you guys how you can cut it now i will be making use of um the the plumb line method to cut this trouser or the um, um gradient line so what you will do now first is to remove the side edge of your fabric be in mind that your material must be unfold in this direction so all you need to do now is to mark out your line this way now this line will make the trouser to have a shred base at the sides as well you also mark out the the edges here now i believe most of us must have known how to measure now this trouser is going to give us a free effects um, um it's not too fitted not too tight right it's just a bit free trouser so now first thing you need to do is to put your two inches here these two inches serves you for the ankle folding or the hemming two inches right then after that you extend your line in this form now after you must have extended your line in this form the next you will do now is to apply your trouser length which the length they gave me is 38 inches length so which i will mark at 38 inches right and then it's advisable to mark twice in order for you to get a straight line at the west point so you mark it twice and then you extend your line as well in this direction properly so once you have done this now the next you will do now is to get your crouch which the formula for a crouch of a female is dividing the hips by four minus one that's the standard formula to get a crouch of a female trouser so the hip measurements i have is a hip measurement of 42 right so 42 by 4 is 10.5 that's by 4 10.5 then minus one from it you have 9.5 so you mark at 9.5 now i am going to get my need point which is measured from the waist to the knee of a customer for a regular size is 21 inches for the for this particular person i will use 19.5 for her knee point which was measured so the best way you can do that is by measuring your customer's knee point then extend your line as well accordingly in this way make sure that the lines are straight you can mark it twice for you to have a straight line so now i have my waist line my crush depth my knee point right so these are the lines we are going to make use of now after doing this on that crush depth is where you are going to apply your hip measurement by four so the hips measurement i have is a hip of 42 that is 10.5 so you mark at 10.5 this way and then add extra two inches to it. then this is how it is then you get the middle distance from the two inches all across to this point so which i have to be 12.5 so the middle this, the middle point is 6.25 which is somewhere here so you mark this 6.25 on the knee point the and the ankle measurement as well so you have 6.25 marked all across these lines 6.25 all across this point then after which you connect the lines from here all through to this point right so you connect the lines as shown then after you must have done this now you're also going to link it up to the crotch depth now for a perfect fitting what i normally do is i will extend the hip line straight to the waist line this way I will extend my hip line straight to the waist line this way, right? Because this is going to have, I think, a zip and an um, elastic rubber at the back waist of the trouser. So now I will now apply my waist measurement with the waist they gave me is 33, right? So from this hip point, that's the line that came from the hip point to the waist, I will now apply my waist point backwards. So 33 by 4 is going to give us 8.25. So you mark at 8.25 this way and then add extra one inch to that that's one inch here this way and this is how you achieve your waist measurements application this way 
and then you have the lines drawn in this form then from the crotch depth you come up by two inches now this two inches is called the actual hip point now in some cases some persons will extend the line across it's still very much okay but since there is no much need or much work needed for the crouch for the um, line to be extended this way you just have to leave it at this point but if you still give me feet to extend the line there is no problem then from the intercepts of this line you mark 0 0.5 inches in a diagonal form this way and then connect the line with a curve from this point all through this way to this point then we have connected the curve then after which you will now look at the lap measurement they gave us so the lap they gave me is a lap measurement of um sorry knee sorry knee they gave me is a knee of um, 17 that's um 8.5 8.5 that's by two so you divide the 8.5 again by two again so you have it to be at this point 4.25 right 8.5 yeah you have it to be 4.25 so you mark at 4.25 we here and 4.25 here as well right so because of the fact that the ankle we have elastic at the at the hem at the folding so i will not make use of my regular ankle the fitted ankle to make it i will add extra one and a half inch or two inches to it now the reason for doing that is to make sure that the rubber i will add we have enough space for the squeeze effect so because if you use the normal ankle of your fitted nature to mark your ankle the rubber will be um, useless it will not have any effect again at the ankle so at this point i will use ankle of 15 to do it or 14.5 as the case may be so let's use 17 um 14.5 that's um 3.3 three quarter right so i'll mark at 3 three quarter this way and then 17.5 40 sorry 40.5 this way right that three three quarter yeah exact then this is the lines we have here right and then you extend the lines outrightly in this form so the next you will do now is to start connecting your curves now i will be making use of um, the hip curve and the my rule to connect accordingly so what you will do next is to extend this line to go a bit straight this way right go a bit straight this way and then extend this one as well to come up straight in this form right then once you have done the, that now the extent of the line you can draw might be 10 inches 11 inches up depending as the case may be then take your hip curve and then connect the lines going to the knee point this way and then connect the lines be in mind that the lap curve or the hip curve must be facing inwards this way right so lap it to this point and then take it again all through to this edge as well right and then also connect this one as well from here straight down to this point so this is the um, the connection you will be seeing then on the hip area you are meant to curve make a curve from this point to the one inch you added on your hip point so this is virtually how you can make your plumb line method for the female scrub trouser then the next you will do is to slope the waist by half an inch but since it is going to be a rubber and elastic i don't think there will be any need to slope your waist it's optional though you can leave it unsloped or you can still slope it if you so wish then for this waist point i will now mark my pocket point of seven inches this way and then mark 2.5 inches here as well now bear in mind that this trouser will have side combat pocket and a cover so stay tuned and watch how this outfit will be, will, be, will be made i will try my best to make the sewing videos available for us to watch so this is how you can cut your female trouser so let me cut and show you how to cut the back